Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today we're taking a look at your new Blu-ray and DVD releases for May of 2019 as listed on Blu-ray.com. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So we'll be starting first off with May 7th, 2019, and we have a few movies coming to 4K for the first time. Black Hawk Down, Hellboy 2, Backdraft. Black Hawk Down will also be getting a steelbook at Best Buy. Now, I did already months ago pre-order the 4K from Amazon, so I'm not sure if I want to pick up the Steelbook. I believe they have the same artwork. I don't know, maybe I should cancel my Amazon order. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it looks like Broken Flowers will be releasing on the Blu-ray. I think I saw this one, but it was quite a few years ago. Uh, Forrest Gump is getting a 25th anniversary 4K, and then for some reason it's getting a Blu-ray Steelbook. Why wouldn't they just make it a 4K Steelbook? I don't know. Uh, Better Call Sal Season 4 is going to be releasing on both Blu-ray and DVD. I've never seen the show, uh, so I can't really comment on it. Uh, the Lego Movie 2, the second part, is going to have a 4K, a 3D, a Blu-ray, a DVD, I believe, and a Steelbook. I'm only at Best Buy at Hope. Oh, it's a Steelbook, only Blu-ray. It only says Blu-ray here. I would think it would be a 4K, but... Um, it's listed as Blu-ray, which is pretty disappointing there. Uh, I don't believe I've ordered it. Uh, we'll be getting The Prodigy on Blu-ray or DVD. I actually just watched this one, and you know, it was pretty good for a modern horror movie. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, there's this kid, he's like super intelligent, but something's off. And um, yeah, it's pretty good. I definitely recommend that one. I'll probably have a review up actually by the time this video goes up. Uh, what Men Want will be releasing on Blu-ray or DVD. Uh, this woman is in like a sports marketing or, or sports agents or something. And uh, she's trying to get ahead, but she feels like she's being held back because she's a woman. And something gives her the ability to hear what men are thinking to, so she can use that to her advantage to get promoted. I think that's about it. The bunch, there's a bunch of just re-releases. Um, and that will take us to May 14th. Uh, Funny Games will be releasing on uh, Criterion Collection. Uh, Godzilla will be coming to 4K. This is the 1998, was that Matthew Broderick? Is that who's in it? I've never seen it, uh, to be honest. And I believe this one is getting a, this is the Steelbook version right here. Um, and here's the standard version. I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be mixing those up. But there's going to be a standard version and a Steelbook version. Uh, Field of Dreams is coming to 4K. A lot of older movies coming to 4K this month. Oh, it looks like there's also going to be a Field of Dreams steelbook. I was not aware of that. Is that a Best Buy steelbook? Um, yes, it is. I, I don't believe I've ever seen Field of Dreams, the Kevin Costner movie where he builds a, a baseball field in his yard or his farm or whatever it is. Um, Apollo 11. I don't know much about this movie, but I'll probably have to pick it up and check it out. Uh, Happy Death Day to You. I did review that one already. Uh, surprisingly, it's only getting a Blu-ray release. Do you guys find it strange that there uh, there's a lot of new movies coming out and they're not going with 4K on them? I don't know why that is, if they just plan on releasing them later in 4K or what. Um, it's cheaper at least, you know, <laughs> if you just if you don't care about the 4K, just get the Blu-ray. Um, this is an okay movie. I definitely like the first one better. Uh, this one was more like a sci-fi comedy and less of a horror, and they even kind of talk about um, kind of how they, they switched genres on this one. I, I don't know. I thought it was a mistake. <laughs> um, Eyes of Laura Mars. That one's uh, from Mill Creek Entertainment. Cold Pursuit is getting a 4K Blu-ray and DVD release. Uh, I haven't seen this one, but Liam Neeson's son dies or something and then they say he's like a drug dealer and, and he says no it's not true and he has to find out what really happened uh definitely be checking that one out fighting with my family i did review this one already i love this movie it's the story of Paige from the wwe it does have the rock but he has a pretty small part uh, he's great in his parts but uh got he's not a real big part I definitely pick that one up uh we got a king kong 4k steelbook 
Ghosts of Mars. Uh, this is another Mill Creek Entertainment release. I'm not sure that I've ever seen this one. It does have Ice Cube in it. Triple Threat from Wellgo USA. This is kind of an action. Um, but I th- believe this one is in English because uh, there's some like American actors in it or whatever. Um, the Jurassic Dead is getting a Blu-ray release. I mean, this came out months, like last year, sometime last year, uh, on DVD, and now they're releasing it on Blu-ray. I do have a review up if you guys are really curious about it, but it just, I, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> um, Never Look Away, this one is from Sony Pictures Classics. Um, yeah, should be getting a Blu-ray or DVD. Backdraft 2, like 50 years later, they decide to make a sequel to it. <laughs> um, Pitch Black is getting a Blu-ray steelbook. I, I do like the look of it, but i probably pass on that. Valentine, The Dark Avenger. This one's from Shout Factory. Anaconda from, uh, that was from Mill Creek Entertainment. I haven't seen this movie in such a long time. Hopefully I'll be getting a copy to review on that one. Uh, Never Grow Old from Lionsgate. We'll be getting a Blu-ray or DVD release. Um, let's see here. We have Godzilla. This is the, uh, 2014, uh, 2014, I was trying to remember. It's right here, 2014 version. Uh, a lot of people didn't care for this movie. I liked it. Uh, this will be a FYE exclusive steelbook. I may have to order it because, uh, that's some cool artwork. And I could be wrong, but I don't really remember ever getting a U.S. steelbook on Godzilla. Uh, maybe they did at some point, but we did get that really big book thing with the 3D printing on it or whatever and the the button where it roars and all that um I don't know was there a steel book I could just be misremembering that uh lifelike this is about like an android type thing from Lionsgate I believe I'll be reviewing that one Beer League <laughs> this is the Artie Lang movie if you guys like Artie Lang you know this is a, a decent Artie Lang movie if you don't then uh, it's probably not for you <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have, uh, where is it? Oh, Power, the complete fifth season. I haven't ever seen this show, so I don't have anything to (laughs) talk about. Uh, American Exit, this one has Dane Cook from Lionsgate. And last up that week, uh, we have Cherokee Creek. Um, these could be ordered on the Scream Team releasing website or on Amazon. Uh, if you order on the Scream Team releasing website, I mean, they, they say, like, you save money, but it's like almost the exact same price because if you have Prime, that is okay. It's more expensive on Amazon, but if you have Prime, you get free shipping, and the the shipping costs basically make up the difference. <laughs> so uh, I did order this one though, so I will um, I'll be bringing you guys a video on this. I did review it already. You know, I didn't love it. I thought it was an okay movie, but I, I just felt like there was this huge section in the middle that just didn't really go with the rest of the movie. Uh, So that brings us to the 21st, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. We'll be releasing on a 4K, Blu-ray, Steelbook, should be 4K Steelbook, um, and probably a DVD as well. Crank is coming to 4K. Uh, I remember this was just like this silly over-the-top thing where uh, he he has like this battery put on his heart or something, or he has like an artificial heart and there's a battery on it and he has to find ways to charge it so he doesn't die, or there's bomb, or maybe it was a bomb, I can't remember, um, and he just finds all these crazy ways to get, like, hook himself up to a car battery, and, and stuff like that, they did make a sequel, but I never saw that one, um, I do actually own this Black Moon Rising, but I don't believe I've ever watched it, it's kind of an older 1986, it's almost as old as I am, (laughs) uh, isn't it romantic, yeah, enough said, the Upside. I am curious to check this one out, although it didn't get great reviews. It does definitely look interesting. Um, Kevin Hart becomes Brian Cranston's aide. I don't, I don't looked interesting. Uh, Big Brother. This is a, another Wellgo USA title where uh, it's it's about a teacher. and I, I can't remember. He's an action teacher or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, Trading Paint will also be releasing from Lionsgate. This is John Travolta, and he's a race car driver, which is funny because, like, I think his last movie is a boat racer, so he's, like, limiting himself now to racing movies. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, White Chamber from Dark Sky Films. I did review this one. I did definitely enjoy this one. It's uh, in the near future in England, I think, and they're at Civil War, and they kind of develop this torture chamber thing. It's, it's pretty interesting. Definitely worth checking that one out. Uh, I don't know anything about this one, A Dark Place. Um, Toy Story 
getting re-released, but they're supposed to be releasing them in 4K, so I don't know what the deal is with that exactly. I don't know the release dates. If they're the same as these, or they're going to re-release it twice, I honestly do not know. But that'll bring us to May 28th, um, and we do have South Park, the complete 22nd season. I should be reviewing this. I haven't I definitely haven't kept up with South Park. I have kind of like sporadic seasons in my collection. Um, but I've always enjoyed it. I've always thought it was pretty funny. So I'll definitely look forward to checking that one out. Uh, Climax from Lionsgate. I don't know. This looks like a really strange movie. I don't really know what to say. you got to watch a trailer on it. Uh, Greta from Universal Pictures. I'm definitely going to check this one out. I don't think it, it got super good reviews. But it's kind of about uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. And this kind of lady, like, tricks her and she's crazy or something. I don't know. It looked interesting, so I'll definitely have to check that one out. Uh, A Vigilante is releasing from Lionsgate. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be checking that one out or not. And I found this kind of interesting, The Oath, releasing on Blu-ray. Now, this came out in, what, November or December on DVD. I did review it. I was very surprised. Uh, It has a slow start, but it ends up being really great about this... Uh, the president wants everybody in the United States to sign this oath and um, like these people come around to make sure you sign it and it ends up being a bad situation when they get to Ike Barinholtz house. It was definitely very interesting. You should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, I'm just surprised that, you know, five months later or whatever, they're releasing it on Blu-ray now. Uh, I was surprised it didn't come out on Blu-ray in the first place and maybe they were kind of surprised by the popularity. I don't know. I don't know how these things work, but uh, definitely check that one out, guys. So now we'll just quickly go over the DVD releases. I don't think there's a lot of different stuff coming out. Um, We have The Headhunter. This one is from Lionsgate. I don't know anything about this one. Uh, Room for Rent will be releasing from Uncorked Entertainment. And I did review this one, guys. This is a great movie where Lynn Shay, her husband, passes, and she rents out a room to get by, and she kind of comes, like, really crazy. And it's definitely... Kind of a cool movie. Definitely check this one out. And I think that's about it on that week. And let's see, the 14th. The 14th, we do have this Adventures of Robin Hood complete series. Uh, this thing was like super long run time. It's, it covers three years, but it seemed like a really long run time to me. So I decided to skip that. I don't want to have to try to watch it all. <laughs> Uh, And that brings us to the 21st, and we have 13 Reasons Why Season 2. Now, this is a show on Netflix. Um, I haven't seen the first or second season, but I should be reviewing this one. Uh, I did hear some people saying that the second season wasn't as good as the first, uh, but I'll definitely be checking that out. And then, um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else different there. So that's about it, guys. I should have a, a little bit less to review for you guys in May than April. But still uh, a pretty good amount. If you guys have seen any of these movies or TV shows or anything, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you guys are picking anything up, I'd love to hear what you're getting down in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check the suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.